Yep, the most challenging fight, I'll say Roy Jones Jr. in 1993 off K Stadium. And then uh, <clears throat> Segundo Mercado, 95, Quito, Ecuador, which was a really uh, challenging fight, fighting in a uh, third world country at the time. I mean, well, still, but it was a good fight. Yes, it was uh, challenging because of his skills, being undefeated, Trinidad at the time, and also under the hostile environment in New York City, um, 01. Um, and uh, it, was, uh, it was challenging in and challenging out of the ring. Even though I was very successful, I had to be super, super disciplined and couldn't make a mistake for one second. Well, I had a few. Antoine Eccles, um, I would say the two knockdowns, Segundo Mercado, 94, um, in Ecuador, and we rematched in 95, and I became the champion with the IBF um, in 1995. But those are some tough fights. And um, the ones 10, 15 years later, um, the ones I lost was tough fights. A um, couple of tough, um, Joe Gazaki, Gazaki was tough, um, fast, but not a big puncher, but busy. So there's a, a few fights before then, Robert Allen, um, who was very, very tough. I don't believe he ever came, became champion, but he was, he was pretty tough as a contender. And I was in his way, and I was in a lot of people's way around that time in my career, in that era, that I believe would have been champion if it was anyone else that they have, you know, boxed or had a match with. My easiest fight was um, Mariah Hakkar in, um, in Philadelphia. He literally ran, and in, in, in once I caught him, I think at third round, uh, it was over. And I was like, you know, this guy didn't come really to fight, but I was just beginning my, <clears throat> my goals to becoming a champion. So those fights you get, was I proud that I got a win? Yes, but did I know it was any threat after the Couple of minutes now. Toughest opponent. That's a lot of tough opponents. Roy Jones. Um, Felix Trinidad, even though, don't look at the knockout, don't look at the rounds I've done good in, but you have to look at the, the, the Trinidad, the undefeated, and believe me, he can punch, even though he didn't hit me with solid punches because I knew that my defense had to be perfect that night. And it was. Always go and watch the footage. The right hand stayed up so tight. And when that glove was off in the dressing room, I had three knots on my, on my wrist on my hand wrist, but my whole hand was swollen, basically. So to me, he um, deserved my respect from that. I will give him that, I mean, and I have. I 
I would say Trinidad was tougher because Trinidad was um, a lot more stronger as far as his punches. And to me, I didn't have to I didn't have to find him. I didn't have to like be aggressive with, with Trinidad. Just had to wait and see where he shoot. Like I was the basically the catcher. And then I countered. And Oscar was totally different because Oscar he plays sort of like the matador. Like he's not running, but he's moving just enough with his he got one of the perfect foot movement and positioning himself before and why he's moving Oscar De La Hoya. You gotta, you gotta like offset that. You gotta offset it. If you don't offset it, he's gonna, like he's done in, in, in multiple years in his career, um, he would leave you alone with, with, you know, on a string and then and potentially knock you out or bust you up. But um, I would say Trinidad based on we, we we had shootouts like he tried to trade with me where Oscar was finesse he was more of a you know um, speed accuracy his fit foot movement is his position and you couldn't just charge in and and actually bum rush him like that but Trinidad gave you those opportunities because he's sort of flat foot flat footed looking to punch all the time looking to try to knock you out with that left foot I think it would have. I think it would have. I think it would have helped. I think social media is is double edged sword. Uh, can help you. Can hurt you. Depending on the individual. I'm good, I'm good, under the circumstances, I'm good. Give me a contract, I don't even know what the hell you do. Like, you want a contract, how do you, contract on what? Your cut man, your corner man, your pad man, um, you got you got to be more clear. Give you a contract. He ain't give you no contract. That must be somebody I know trying to be funny. Well, yes. I mean, he was ready, but you got to look at. I was bigger, undisputed champion, a lot of confident, wasn't going to be denied. Yeah, Oscar was ready, and Oscar wanted to take that next step and do something that no fighter ever done um, in the boxing history, even him, the great Henry Armstrong, and who won multiple titles in multiple divisions. So. Um, I, I believe he was ready. I know he was ready. He trained. I trained. And we had time to get ready. And he would tell you he was ready. It just was my night and wasn't his night. That's how it goes.